Okay, so today I'm going to show you this lovely method of drawing conics in projective geometry. All you need is pencil, paper and a straight edge to be able to do this. Um, it's remarkably simple um, as far as the steps you actually have to take. Now I'm using a software program called GeoGebra because as you can see it does involve drawing rather a lot of lines to make a good picture. But the actual method is just very very simple and it also involves the idea of projection which is really the sort of core concept behind as you probably guessed projective geometry so hopefully you'll enjoy learning the method and seeing all these beautiful shapes you can make I've always found it kind of fascinating how one can generate these lovely curved objects by only using straight lines so let me just show you the simple method start with a line with say three dots on it and then we're going to add an extra yellow point this is what's called a center of perspectivity and we're going to do a perspective from this blue line onto this green line so what that basically means is that we're going to draw a line through every point of our blue line that we're interested in and see where they end up. So it's as if one had put an eye at the yellow point and then observe where the corresponding points would appear on the green line. And so essentially by this perspective we get these new three points on the green line. So that's what's called a perspective, or maybe a perspectivity with respect to the centre of perspective, which is the yellow point. Um, and now we're going to do another perspectivity. So we're going to do one with respect to this orange centre of perspectivity here, onto this red line. So, if you try and ignore the blue line and the blue and yellow lines, you should be able to see again what's going on is basically analogous. We're just putting this orange point down, drawing lines through the green points, and seeing where they end up getting sort of moved to onto this red line. And so, it's just another perspectivity. And so basically what we've done is we started off with three blue points and then we did one perspective on them to change them onto the green line. Then we did another perspective on them to change them onto a red line. So we've done a sequence of perspectivities. That's called a projection. So we've done a projection from the blue line onto the red line. Anyway, what's the method? Well, basically, we just see this big red um, dot here hopefully you can if you pause the video or something you can convince yourself this is the projection of this original big blue point now all we do is link the original object to the red point it's been projected to and then I'm doing this in GeoGebra which has this wonderful feature called trace which basically means that um, if an object moves around, you can see as if one was viewing it with a um, with a long exposure camera. And so now, if I just drag around this blue point here, one can see that it's actually sweeping out a curve. In fact, it's sweeping out an ellipse, which is very interesting. So, all the different conic sections can be generated in this way. Um, it just depends on how on the original setup of the objects. So, I'm going to play around with this a bit and alter the the orderings of things.
yeah, so now our curves are making a hyperbola. I mean, I've never seen this before, so I wouldn't like to say anything too... Um, wouldn't like to say anything too conclusive, but this looks to me very, very similar to some of the things one sees in magnetic fields.